you can see this folks beautiful setting here beautiful trail this place I'm at the Far East in Canada. This place is called Signal Hill. It's a harbor into St. John, Newfoundland, the Far East province of Canada. Newfoundland and Labrador, they call it. I've been here for a few days now and on uh, business. But this morning, I got a, maybe an hour or two to spare and do this little vlog. So basically, Signal Hill, it was in 1901. 1901, that's a long time ago. That's before the First World War. That's during the Golden, the golden Age. In 1901, this uh, person... Uh, Guglielmo Marconi received receive the first wireless, and yes, you heard me right, the first wireless transmission. It was a Morse code coming from the UK. 1901, folks. 1901. Today we take for granted the wireless world <laughs> that we live in, everything is connected. But that's how it started, way back then. So let's get going, see if I can find a nice, um, a nice composition. There's a nice uh, trail down there. There's a lighthouse down there. They're announcing rain for today. So, and here's the building. It, it's called the Cabot Tower. What was it built in 1897 to mark the 400th anniversary of the John Cabot North American landfall and the 60th year of the Queen Victoria Ring. Oh, well. Things were learned. The building was complete in 1900, financed in party by private donation. Oh, is it ever? It's a windy day. Windy day, folks. And this east point, there's also somewhere down here, there's also I don't know if we, I'm going to see this right. Cannon. Battery. Fired hourly during foggy condition as a signal to mariner in use from 1820 to 1900. So every hour they fire a cannon in the water to signal ships that were coming in. And there's a lot of people walking, tourists. It's a beautiful place. For photo anyway. And this is the city, St. John. to put down my uh, my action pro here DJI I won't be able to put it down on the ground it's too windy or maybe there and I'll set up there I think I found something interesting 
leading line, foreground, middle ground there, there's a, another, it's called a battery cannon, and the city in the fort, the city in the background. Is it ever windy? A bit of burn out top left here, but that's okay. Not enough to lose anything. During my crop, probably this will be cropped anyway. So I'm doing a, I'm gonna do a, you see the top right there, top left? I'm gonna do a panel of this whole thing here. Hopefully it's gonna turn out good. All right. Let's go down a bit. About there. There you go. Now, got rid of that uh, F16, 2.5 second. Shot number one. I did not bring my zoom, my 100 to 200. It's too big to travel with, so I travel light. When I travel for work, it's, I gotta be careful what I bring with me. So, but it's a medium format. I can crop the hell out of it.
Okay, folks. This this was quite the adventure today. This morning. Signal heal. The the audio is better here than outside. <laughs> With the wind, seventy some kilometers an hour. So yeah, pretty strong wind. But beautiful place. You'll see uh or you already seen some of the photos. Now I'm going to another spot. So if it's in this video, we'll be in this video. If not, it'll be another video. It's called Kitty Vidi. And uh it's a nice fishing area, a uh, fishing port. Uh and it's uh about five minutes from here, not that far. 10 minutes maybe driving. The only uh, big thing there, they have uh, a brewery, Kitty Vitty Brewery. For those uh, fan of of beers. So anyway, we'll keep going. And if there's not enough for one video here, then we'll split it. Uh, the Kitty Vitty would be included. And if it's too much, then I'll split I split the video. I still I still have about an hour before before I gotta go and, and meet my colleagues for work. So I think I can manage to capture a few more image at Kitty Vidi. Kitty Vidi, Newfoundland. Hopefully you can see behind me folks. These nice little jelly bean color house. So I'm, I'm doing this little video with my iPhone. I have to include it in the in my Newfoundland trip for sure. 